I don't think that we're going to do the normal introduction for today. I think we're just going to go into the show because this what? show no, no, today. No, 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 no. Do you want to do the intro? I mean, we can we can do a little. How you doing, man? We ain't, it ain't got to be as long as it normally is. But okay, y'all ain't even told me how y'all doing yet. I mean, because uh. we were here early. <laughs> We were here early. We already had that discussion. But Demarcus, how are you doing? I'm doing good, y'all. Man, I got I got some plans this weekend. I'm gonna go skating tomorrow night. Yes, sir. Uh, it's a it's an anime art expo wow. uh, this weekend, and it's free. So I'm gonna check that out. I'll take some pictures and post it to the uh, to the gram. I mean, you I'm always say I'll be on the looking. I know, I know, I know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna still do that joint. Um, and then I went to a salsa class last night. That shit was pretty, oh, wow. pretty dope. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I felt pretty good about it. I went myself, you know what I'm saying? Singling, mingling. Yeah. Hey, getting, back, is, uh, getting back on that horse. Yep, yeah, yes, sir. The markets is cool. So you danced with a whole bunch of girls? Uh, I danced with two. But they neither one of them was from here. Neither one of them was from us. Uh, neither one of them lived in San Jose. Oh, okay. uh, one was like an Indian woman, and, but they both lived in Wisconsin. They for a conference. I think the Indian woman was pregnant, but you know that ain't for me to for me to say. It's, it's horrible when you assume women are pregnant. Mm. Mm-hmm. So um, I I got a way to figure out if a woman is pregnant. It's not foolproof yet. All right. how, how are you feeling today? And then you know what I'm saying. Oh, I'm feeling. And then hopefully in that, how are you feeling? You know, you got to really yeah. mean it. And so hopefully yeah. in that, she'll like divulge like yeah you know the baby with my ass or to just tell you uh-huh. about her day but um in that how you doing um it's, it's it's the way you gotta ask but in that how you doing she'll she'll definitely let you know huh. um, just, i don't think that will work with strangers yeah i mean it, it's yeah i mean yeah. no matter because no matter no matter how you ask me how i'm feeling first off if you a stranger to my me bad, you my say bad. how how are we feeling how, how are we feeling today you know <laughs> even, so so either way if you're a stranger and you ask me how we feel it i'm like first off nigga you're too familiar like you don't know me <laughs> wow that's that's just me that's it i know i know how to you know i let, let their guards down and tell me a little something but go ahead go ahead i'm sorry i'm i mean sorry. i mean you can up. also trip them and if they fall stop on back... stop stop <laughs> and i'm and i'm the bad guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah america y'all hear this <laughs> You are. Um, speaking of Instagram, I posted uh, something on Instagram the other day that I want to revisit um, with you, Laranza. Um, and, and I posted it and I got a lot of DMs um, with something that you said. Oh, hell no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did I say? You said right. that um, uh I would be invited to your wedding depending uh, you on what time of the year it was. No, no, no. So no, no, no. That's invited. what you said. No, that's you're what you talking said. about. That's what you said. Was it? Hold that's on, hold on, hold on. Did he say? Did he say you would be invited or you would be in the wedding? No, that's he said invited. Things. He said it mm. depend on what time of year it is. So, mm, um, mm, can mm, you mm. classify in my a? winter spring type of friend or am i autumn um autumn summer type of friend oh you don't fucked up now Lerante. right i'm like yeah <laughs> i mean what it's on instagram and episode? twitter what you said so right right right, right. i mean uh, you know how life works man <laughs> and so he didn't mean season as in like <laughs> season of the year he meant season of life you know wow. season of life he's in Wow. Oh, but I, I do want to tell y'all this other thing. Um, I went to this play last weekend, yeah. Okay. And it's um it's called it's called Pillow Man. And it was a play like in uh Campbell, California. It's like right next to San Jose. Um, and it was put on by like this, you know, like amateur group of play people, you know, writers, producers, actors, set people, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the point is it's like a small play. So uh, it's all Indian cast, and mm. the the premise. Have y'all heard of the movie Banshee? Banshee? No? Banshee. I, I don't think I have. I don't think I have. I, no, okay, I Hold think on. I have. Yeah. Banshee. So the person who wrote Banshee also wrote this play, and apparently he just writes like morbid shit. 
So mm. the premise of the play is like this woman and her sister are being interviewed by the police and the entire thing takes place in like the uh, in the interrogation room. And I'll go ahead and make this quick. But the, the woman is a writer and she writes stories about children who are being like murdered, maimed, and otherwise like just fucked up. Um, and then they're being, they're being interrogated about murders that resemble the murders that are happening in her stories that are happening in her town. Here it goes. And, and it turns out that the sister who has like developmental issues, she's been the one being like committing these murders. So she's been like finding children, t- chopping off their toes. She crucifies one child. Like it's fucking nuts. Like this play was so fucking crazy. Like I've been thinking about it all week. Mm. It, was, it was so, but it, it was good now. But it, it was, so, it was so crazy. Pillow Man. It was so crazy. It was so well done and so like just like morbid and like crazy to watch that people left during intermission and they didn't come back. Yeah, it, mm. it sounds good, but like I don't know why I would go see it because you just told the whole movie. I mean, the whole play. I mean, it's some twists and turns in there, so I ain't tell you everything. No. Mm. I, I think just told I... you the most exciting parts to get you into it. I mean, I. I'll wait for it to come out on HBO. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> I will wait for it to come out. Uh, let me ask you this, Demarcus. What anime are you looking to see in the Anime Art Expo that you're going to this weekend? Um, I'm looking for, you know, so I'm looking for some art for my place. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I can't, I can't really say. Uh, I can't really say what I'm looking for. Uh, exactly, but I know it when I see it. Like I, I hope I see some stuff from, from some of my favorites. Like if they got some Yu Yu Hakusho shit, I'm gonna be I'll be on that. If they got some uh, Demon Slayer shit, uh, like I fuck with Naruto, but I don't really want Naruto art because you know, I feel like it's too much. <laughs> you know, same with Dragon Ball Z. Mm-hmm. Like you're a teenager. Yeah. yeah, I want some obscure shit. You know what I'm saying? But you just said Yu Yu Hakusho. How is that obscure? Everybody Yu Yu Hakusho. Hakusho. Nah, nah. It's like our nah, generation does. Loves Yu nah, but not the younger. Nah, that's a tsunami show. Nah, that's not like a tsunami show. Not and not then the it's younger. coming out with a live action movie on Netflix. How is that obscure? Yo, Yu Yu is like a hidden gem, low key. No, no, it's not. Nobody Everybody you loves Yu Yu Hakusho. I'm telling you, bro. Like, I'll be talking to, that, to like, my friends you. who watch anime out here. They don't know about that Yu Yu. Oh my God. They don't know about that Ghost Files. That what? Ghost Files. That's that was the uh, American name for Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh my god! No, no, no. You didn't, didn't even know I that. Did. that. No, that, I shit, no, I didn't because right I just watched the sub. I mean, I watched the sub too, but ain't, like ain't nobody watching the the um, Americanized censored version. But anyway, but that's not obscure. How are you doing, Jed? I'm doing fine. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. <laughs> no, I'm doing fine. Uh, what have I been doing lately? Well, I just started playing the new Star Wars game, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Ooh, and, um, that's going out? Yeah. How it, is it that? Just, yeah, how is that? came out. Uh, I've been playing that? for a little while, and there are some twists and turns already, and I'm not yeah. even out of chapter one. So, yeah, it's, and, it's and that's That's the sequel to... Uh, uh, Fallen Jedi mm-hmm. or Fallen Order? Yeah, Fallen Order. Yeah, Fallen yeah. Order. And I really like yeah. it because they are incorporating the, the <clears throat> High Order in the Jedi mythology that they mm-hmm. just introduced in the comic book. Um, mm. the, the the High Republic, when the Jedi's ruled a thousand years before Darth Vader and the Skywalkers. The Jedi mm. were ruling, and it and it really is incorporating a lot of those elements. Well, so far, mm. as I say, I'm not out of chapter one yet, so mm. I'm very excited to see where this goes. Nice. Oh, yeah, I haven't finished Hogwarts yet, but I still need to go back to that. I think I'll do that after. In between Jedi and Final Fantasy 16, I'm going to try to finish up Hogwarts, but yeah. Okay, okay. For sure, yeah. I like to hear about Star Wars outside of like the original six movies, because um, I feel like they keep you know recycling the same old, same old, which we get. Oh, yeah. you know? 
but I'm glad that it's something that kind of adds to the, the folklore of Star Wars. So that's pretty dope. It's mm-hmm. pretty mm-hmm. dope. Mm-hmm. The nine movies. Well, I, I the six original. <laughs> the, the, the three after that, man, like I, I felt like they were money grabs. Like, hey, let's they, they weren't bad though. <laughs> they the the, the the first two was dope. The last one, I was like, damn, they, 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 I don't know. Yeah, they I gotta they watch it again. Through. Yeah, they follow through with a lot of their promises. Right. No. I thought it was gonna go a little bit hard. No offense. I thought it was gonna go a little because I, I like what was the girl's name? What was her name? Uh, Ahsoka. Ray? <laughs> Not Ahsoka. What'd you say, Margaret? Yeah, yeah, I fucked with her. I liked her. I liked her energy. Like, okay, cool. Nah, I feel stuff. like they did my boy Finn wrong, man. They they got all these posters with Finn holding a lightsaber and shit, and then he wasn't a Jedi. Yeah. Like, yeah, yo, fuck did. you. Because that that stuff happened on the outside, and then like when he um, it was like some back life, some back not some back life matter stuff, and he spoke up, and he was like, "Hey, bro, calm down. Or you're gonna lose your role." He's like, "Man, fuck that. I'm gonna speak on injustice and inequality." And then like he lost. I don't know if he lost the role, but I just know ever since then, no. John Boyega, John Boyega, yeah, he been in the obscurity, kind of not obscurity, but. He ain't been in. No oh, he, ain't, he ain't been shit. in a bunch of. He ain't. He ain't been in nothing else since Star Wars for real. I mean, since like, since Star Wars, but that incident that he had with that Black Lives Matter stuff and the Star Wars stuff. I mean, Star Wars was already filmed and released in. Theaters, oh okay. Okay. But, um, oh. And Disney actually came out and said, "We don't care." Go oh okay, cool, cool, but, cool, but cool, yeah, cool, he cool. hasn't been in uh, anything. Well, he he's Star pretty Wars. good. I like him. I, I'm not saying he's the best actor, but you know, I'm, okay, it's fresh new face. Let's yeah, let's give him a he, chance. He, he definitely definitely been he definitely been overshadowed by uh, Michael B. Uh, in uh, John Majors. Majors. Yeah, I'm, and I'm I'm still I'm still holding out for Jonathan Majors coming out of this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Not no, unscathed, not. but I gotta fire it up. I got he's not coming, up. he's not coming out unscathed <laughs> at all. But like, no, just... he's not. The the woman just today got a protective uh order against him. You know, he just lost his uh the PR firm that represents him has yeah, just, I remember that. Um, and I and, and he, I saw a thing about the, the restraining order, but it's like nigga, they'll give you a restraining order for anything. You can go down to the police station. I can go get a restraining order against Jerry right now, just say he did some shit to me. I might like, need one. They just like there's this like that's not a big deal. Like it that's like saying I mean it is a big deal. It's, 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 okay. easy, to get, it's, easy, it's, it's easy getting a restraining order against someone, so it's not a big deal to get one. It's, that's not news. It's not like, oh, he it's not like because they reported it as if like he had been indicted. It's just, it's just, as if it was an indictment of all the charges or all the allegations against him. And I'm like, no, like she just went and got a restraining order. That's and then you know, and, and this is after she was like already like, oh, he never hit me or nothing like that. And I'm like, now what we supposed to believe? Yeah, he was supposed to show up to CinemaCon uh, this weekend actually to promote his next movie about the boxer. He wasn't there, mm. so uh, yeah, he's still experiencing a lot of fallout with that. And um, I yeah. just need to. I mean, you're holding out to hear the truth, and I'm just like. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I want him. I just want him. To, I want him to keep being Kane because that man, he he was killing that role. I mean, they say that Yaya might do it. Which one? Which Yaya? Which one? Yaya? Yaya was the one who is um, black. Black Manta. You know what? I would not be mad at that. I would be mad they recast him um, before a decision, man. But Yaya, I, I rock. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, Disney he's, hasn't said anything some yet. other things as well. Because was he Candy? Wasn't he Candy Man? Yeah, he man. Yeah, yeah, I, I rock with him. Candy, candy man. man. Oh, Candy Man. Oh, yeah. The remake that was so good. Nah, I, I don't want to recast him, man. Because they already undid Terrence Howard like that, and we see how that went. Man. Terrence Howard decided no, they, they did, not they did. to Terrence be in. Quit. Yeah, Terrence quit. You right, and they recast him. They should have. They should have gave that man his money. Yeah, they should have paid him his money. But well, that was before. Yeah, that was yeah. before Disney bought him. They was, you know, there's a little broke back then. There was a little broke yeah. back then. No, nah, they wasn't, man. They was not. No, uh, cause she, that's cause why Disney had to buy him. Disney wasn't a part of them yet. Yeah, it was just Marvel. They, he had to. They had. That's what yeah. they had to sell him because that's yeah. a, that's why that's why Disney acquired Marvel because at the time they. They couldn't afford to really produce yeah. what they wanted to. And, and, and but that leads us to 
That leads us to <laughs> how you doing, Lorante? <laughs> I'm doing great, fellas. I'm doing great, man. My daughter, uh, my oldest, she just turned 13. So we uh, turned yeah. up in the city last week. That's what's last up. Last week That's with that, up. man. We went I to, to, um, to Hookah Bar. <laughs> no, nah, no Hookah Bar this time. No Hookah Bar. <laughs> I was about to text you happy birthday for your daughter, but I thought that was going to be kind of weird, so. If I if I was a woman, you could take happy birthday day. That's that's kind of on the uh, cusp. Mm, like mm-hmm. you tell the kids happy birthday, you tell them birthday day because they did the work really. Like you just they just you know the kids just showed up. But I mean, um, you, you had a hand in it. I did, I did, but I'm not gonna. You know, you know, I I, I assisted, but I ain't do no heavy lifting. It's like women, you know, women had a womb, but men had a seed of life. You know what I'm saying. I put the seed, you know, I help I help nurture it, you know, get it here. But yeah, it was lit, man. We went to Six Flags um one of those days. It's cause I, I'm I be forgetting that parents are responsible. Basically, Lorenzo, the up. details of mm-hmm. harassment. Your parents will call it. Oh man, is it, is it still breaking up? No, it wasn't breaking up to me. Oh, it wasn't. I oh. think it's you, Derek. Oh man. No, nah, I think it's you because you was you had just froze for a second there. Oh. But you oh, said man. the parents was calling and what now? Lawrence. Just just trying to get details and stuff. And they was like, Yeah, y'all not just gonna drop them off there. There's gonna be some parents up there, right? At first, I wasn't gonna stay because I'm like, man, they 13 kid. And mind you, how how Bella's class but they girls, is. So she's the youngest. <laughs> right, right. So she the youngest in her class. So um she turned 13, whereas other folks are 13, 14, one kid, one kid even 15. And I'm Damn. just like, right. It's like how they the same grade as Bella. Not well. How her grades are set up, they kind of base it off maturity and can, like what can you handle. You know, she's in private school, so like what you can, uh, what you can kind of handle, right? So they kind of they kind of lump kids in different, in different and they groups. Don't, and, and they must not call it grades. It's like you're just on this track with these right. People. So they they actually group them by stones. So it's onyx, Stone. right? It's onyx, diamond, platinum, pearl, emerald, gold. Yeah, this, is, this is kind platinum. of sound like a cult. No, not at all. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. It's like I ain't no shoes in private school, Lorente, but I, I hear you, brother. I mean, yeah, I knew yeah, that, yeah. but I didn't know it was a, a private school where they group people by like amethyst, gemstones, onyx. No, nah, but so like <laughs> you're, you're not to those stones. It's just like let's say her she's in seventh grade. So her her class is it has some smart ass sixth graders, some 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 good seventh mm. graders. And then it, uh, they also have eighth graders, so like every class so, is kind of blended. So, so, so struggling eighth graders. So, hey, slick, slick. But we ain't gonna. We ain't, you, you, you say they grouping them by like maturity level and what they can handle. You know you're what I'm in saying? Eighth grade, and you in here with these average that's, seven, average seventh graders. So yeah, so that's what that's what I figured out. That's I'm telling you, yeah, that's what I figured out because I, I sub up there. Um, so you know, English teacher calls out or their science or math. So I, I'll t- I'll take over for it a little bit. And that's what I realized. I'm like, okay, hold on. This kid's like, they're like, okay, they're very smart. They're, oh, he a little slow hitting. Hold on, boy, how old you is? You 17? What you doing in this? Place? Like, so it's, <laughs> it's, it's like that. <laughs> but you, you grown. Know, you look right. 30. <laughs> right. And y- y'all know I'm a tall dude. I'm a tall dude. So I'm a motherfucker bigger than me. I'm like, bro, how, how are you? At? Like, big. Like, I'm mm-hmm. two, I'm 225. I'm Yikes. 225. A nigga taller than me and bigger than me. That nigga ain't like, like, yo. 225, Jared. Oh. oh, oh, hey, wait till we get off this. I'm gonna step on the scale. I might have done lost a little weight, but I, I'm a solid 215, man. On God, on God, I, but Lorente might be, might be 190. Might nah, man, I'm telling you, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't cut up. It's, it's, it's all over the place now. I'm not gonna lie, but it's, it's there. <laughs> it's just there. So, <laughs> uh, do they graduate at 18 or do they like keep going to school until they're 22? No, 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 until you, uh, basically. You know, so it's a 12th, not a K through 12, but it's a 12th grade situation. So by the time you hit the 12th grade, you will graduate. They do uh, keep track of grade, but they lump you because basically, honestly, 6 through 12, they learn the same material, just a little different. Like um, mm. sixth grade might get, might get a gloss over by the time you get to 12. Like, mm-hmm. let's say math, like just math, like everybody's doing algebra, right? But mm-hmm. then what's the next level? Algebra, uh, geometry, trigonometry. Mm-hmm. But everybody has like that baseline. Yeah, that baseline, and then and then language arts is the same as well, except like what what novel they'll be reading, but they'll still have the same uh, subject, pronoun, predicate, you know, just mm-hmm. that general class, except what they're reading. Like so, sixth grade is reading Shakespeare, twelfth grade is reading something a little bit more past that, mm-hmm. um, and stuff, and okay. that, and that's just that's just how they do. It. They take a holistic kind of approach to it, 
and they, they like understand that. everybody's different. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a, it's a pretty good school. I, I definitely would recommend it if you can afford to um send your kids somewhere else. But now, nah, like I so like I was saying, they like parents were just calling me like, "Hey, are you gonna be up there? Are you gonna be up there?" At first, I was private school was, kids, too, so. right? N- nigga, nigga. So I was like, you know what? Let me let me go up there. So, so they ain't parents there. like you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, nah, like like how we grew up, you know, you went to Six Flags, they dropped you off, and you was just up there all day. Yeah, yeah. See, you know now, what I'm saying? I grew up. See, you took the bus out there, and you, come on, <laughs> come on. See, you missed that bus back. Your mom was pissed. <laughs> come on, come on. So, so, but it, it, it was a good time, man. That's 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 how I'm doing over here. So we're we're pretty good. So is this like that's a black up. private school? It is. It is. So is it really like a? I don't want to say HBCU, but I do. Um, they advocate wherever you get the most money, right? But mm-hmm. they do like they Push do. Um, dues. Yeah, yeah, but they don't, they actually don't like like wherever you get the most money. But they, mm. it's like everybody's black. Everybody like there are no offense, no um, no Caucasians really at all. Maybe somebody coming to fix something, mm-hmm. maybe. But from the security guard to the janitor to the headmaster to the uh, dean of students, mm-hmm. you know, top down, top down. Yeah, yeah, not he the he the founder. So he actually he's actually doing a lot of work in South Africa now. So he's about to start oh, another, right? So he's about to start a um, I don't want to call it a second chapter. What what, what would you call it? another school? I guess. Yeah, he's, yeah. So yeah, so he's working on another school out there. So they're actually they have a South Africa trip coming up as a school. Well, it's gonna be like fifty kids from the school gonna go. I think less than that, maybe twenty oh, thirty. Be- Bella going? Yeah, yeah. So she's a, she's on that list. She's she is on that list. No, um, no, we pay, no. just paid, just paid that deposit. For. Right, right. Just paid, just paid that deposit because this it, it's South Africa. And it's, it's a really nice place. Johannesburg is really, really nice, nice area out there. So yeah. I have it, man. I just, I just be seeing a bunch of stuff. You gonna, um, you gonna, you gonna chaperone? Yeah. Um, no, nah, my mom's gonna chaperone that. Actually, my mom, mm-hmm. my mom, she, uh, she, she you don't want to go? That one. Um, go. not really. I, I would like to go to South Africa, but not under, not under a school trip because I feel like it's gonna be three out, three days or. They're, they're going to be there for seven days, so they're uh, don't give me the line. I want to say they touch down in like Cape Town and then go mm-hmm. to somewhere else, and mm-hmm. then so it's it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be dope. But I don't feel like chaperoning because them kids, man, they just like any other kids. They're not bad, but they go they stay they're they're, 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 they're pushing <laughs> right. They're pushing their pushing their pushing their boundaries, pushing their limits, in. Yeah. and uh. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I, I went to a private school up to the Ooh. second grade, and then I got Ooh. kicked out. Why you was fighting? Yes, um, I. <laughs> uh, so I would uh, chase boys around uh, at my private school, and uh, I would say that they're my husband. And a Jared. lot of parents, and a lot of parents got mad at me. I was in, I was in like first grade. So in second grade, uh, this boy came up to me and said something. So I started bashing his head on the basketball court. And he like started Ooh. bleeding and had to go to the hospital. And I guess that was the final straw for the gay kids. So I had to, I, I got kicked out. Hmm. Damn, Trouble, yeah. 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 Hey, but he said something slick to you first, so. Yeah, yeah, he well. did. He did. Okay. Are y'all ready to start the show? Oh wait, I yeah, had another question to ask you. I had another question to ask you, Laranta. Um, do you watch all the other shows and movies in the Star Wars universe, like Rogue One and Rebels and Clone Wars? I'm um, and I just had this. I had a whole argument with a friend about this. I'm I'm up and down. I'll give anything a shot, but like I said, I feel like a lot of corporations. They're like doing money grabs with a lot of these, you know, spinoffs and add-ons. And so, so some I don't watch and I get flack for it. And some of them I do watch that I still get flack for. Like, oh, you don't watch this, but you watch that. Like, I, I like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I, I pick and choose, you know, if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I'm not going to watch it. Like Obi, like Obi-Wan, when they dropped on Disney Plus, it was kind of slow for me. Like I watched three episodes, I think. And it was just, it was just kind of slow. I was like, man, I, I rock with Obi Wan. You know, he was, he was one of the dope dudes. But mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't like that. I did watch The Mandalorian. I'm like, I'm like sometimes on you know, that. Like I binge watched it um, when the second season dropped. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up and down on the Star Wars stuff. Like I'll give anything a shot. But like I said, if it feel like they just trying to hey, make some money off us because they know we're gonna consume it, I don't really be too, too pressed on them. What's up though, Jared? I'm just asking because you know Mandalorian just ended. Um, of course, everybody says to watch Clone Wars. That's the the show the, to watch, and I I haven't seen mm. it at all. 
and Rebels. That's the cartoon, seen, right? Yeah. Well, computer animation. Yeah. You, yeah, you ain't seen I'm none of Clone Wars? No. The cartoon. Nah, man. I stopped. I stopped. I was well, like, bro, both what? of y'all sleep, man. But, both but of y'all. I've, I've damn, seen bro. all the Rebels, though. I seen all the rebels. I seen I done seen all of them. I saw Rebels. Yeah, Rebels is good. Clone Wars is good. It's just long. Yeah, um, that's what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like one piece going into Clone Wars. It's like six or seven seasons of like 24 episodes. And I don't ugh. but um yeah, I saw they, Soka, yeah. the Mando, um, and Obi-Wan. And I I, I like them. Ah, all, Soka actually. ain't even out yet. Yes. What you talking oh, about? not Ahsoka. I'm sorry. Uh, what's that show nope. about the rent about the normal people and they start rebelling against the Empire? Uh, Andor. Andor. I didn't watch that. Did not watch that. I was like, Andor. Andor is huh? pretty good. Andor is pretty good. These regular ass niggas. Man, I'm no, not man, watching you this. Don't remember, you don't remember catching Andor, man? He the, he the reason they got the Death Star plan. I don't think he saw Rogue One though. But I mean, they talk about they talk about Andor in like the other movies, but I guess. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it does. It does. It does. It just for me. Nah, like it, don't I said, it don't matter to you. Like I, said, if I get. I get flat. I get flat. I get flat. Tell you the truth. Shame the Tell the truth. Shame the one. No. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go ahead and start this episode of Black Geek Energy. We'll be right back after this brief commercial break. Laurent, you want to say like wah 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 wah. <laughs> Wubba lubba dub dub. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve to be happy. Professional licensed and vetted therapists who you can trust. Tap into the network of licensed, accredited, and experienced therapists who can help you with a range of issues, including depression, anxiety, relationships, trauma, grief, and much more. With our therapists, you can get the same professionalism and quality you would expect from an in office therapist, but with the ability to communicate when and how you want. All right, head on over to betterhelp.com slash BGE pod. Sign up right now. Let them know we, you, we sent you. Guys, this is <clears throat> going to be the most, I think this is going to be the, uh, the, the best episode of Black Geek Energy because we are actually going to fight. Uh, this is our versus episode where we each are going to take one television network and we are going to pit them against each other to see which one is the best. And I think that I will go first uh, when I'm telling y'all my network. My network is the oldest paid subscription service. It has 166 mm. Emmys, primetime Emmys, um, for its plethora of shows. I'm talking about you know, one who has been up and down on this branding uh, thing for the, for, you know, the the latest. Um, they've been up and down with this discovery. And let me just tell you, I'm doing HBO. So there's no way that I can lose. There's no way I can lose. Um, they have a plethora of good shows every year. You're always talking about an HBO show and you know that even their shows that you don't watch, you know that if you just sit down and watch their shows, they can, you, you're going to have a great time. You're going to have an enjoyable experience. But um, so, so let me just let these other people tell you what loser shows that they have right quick and then we can get into it. Okay, okay. So yeah, hey. Welcome back, America. I know y'all kind of fell asleep on that one, but we're back. Um, <laughs> so he's talking about daytime Emmys and, and critical acclaim. If you know, if that's a measure, my my company does does have 135 Academy Awards, um, and 32 were by the um, the original founder and owner. Um, my my company, I'm sorry, my television. They did more. My television station. They did more than just be a station. They became a company. And then they they set out for world uh, world world domination, if you will, and they acquired a bunch of a bunch of a bunch. I mean, a bunch of content to whereas they have the game on lock right now. Um, I can de- I can go deep in their bag, but I, I'll try and stick to the not, not even the rules. I'll just I'll play fair and I'll just do what they're. I'll try and stay on their original content, but I might pull out some of their um, some stuff they acquired. My company. Um, the creator of all your childhood memories, um, your child's child's memories, your parents' memories, um, is the Disney Disney company. That is that is my company. 
So I'm going to let everybody else go. But at the end of the day, y'all remember who, who who's in your heart, okay? Who's in your head? Who's in your heart? Right, right in front of you right now. You're probably doing something right now, Disney-related. You don't even know it. You on ESPN, boom, Disney on it. ABC, Disney on it. Marvel, come on. We already knew that. Disney owns it. So um, that's it. That's all I got. So I ain't going to do so much talking. It ain't going to be too much talking. I'm, I'm going I'm to step back. I'm going to step back. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. We got Disney. We got HBO. And, you know, Lawrence A.P. Disney, they own all this shit. But that's only that's only recent. We're going to talk about, I'm going to talk about the OG. The one that introduced you to everything. to From, from cartoons for children, teenagers, adults. Like, they, this... This network introduced you to anime. If you if without them, you wouldn't even we wouldn't even have a show right now. We wouldn't even be the people who we are without this show. I mean, countless awards. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't want to put the numbers out there because that's gonna just be embarrassing for the other two that just went trying to, you know, you know, name drop and shit with, with these damn Emmys and Tonys and shit like that. No, so, you know what I'm saying? You know, this network has countless Grammys, uh, has had countless musical gifts, countless shows and it's still coming out with hot shit today and you don't age out i'm doing the og cartoon network hey okay oh okay well uh, disney has oscars and grammys and, and emmys yeah but right. okay go ahead go ahead i'm on back back no one really cares okay so and and, and uh <laughs> Uh, HBO isn't actually eligible for Oscars, but you know, if we were, uh, we would have those two. But um, but let's go ahead. Who who's gonna start us today? Okay, so let me tell you the rules. So we're each going to start with uh one um one show, and then uh the other two hosts will then rebut with their with their uh counter show. And then you at the end will let us know what um what sh- what network reigns supreme. So we're gonna go around in total, there will be uh six turns for everybody, okay? All right. So mm-hmm. who's gonna start? Oh, I'm starting. I'm starting. I got this first one. And I'm gonna okay. start with uh, one, one we've been talking about. It's it's long, but it's good. It's one. That was Emmys. Uh, damn, damn show is called uh, Star Wars: The Clone Wars. I mean, this show was so good that HBO came and said they wanted to pick it up. So, what should I do? Okay, okay. It, it, do do I go next or does Lorenzo? You go next. Okay, okay. Clone Wars. You got this long spanning show. I think six seasons, <laughs> and then you um you have. Uh, a a dramatic thing that has repercussions. Correction, like a, seven seasons. Oh, excuse me. I, I I haven't seen it, so I don't really know. So you have this this thing that has repercussions throughout the whole Star Wars uh, franchise. But you know, HBO has many shows, many shows that that are dramatic that be killing each other, and actually show blood that you can watch because you're an adult and have these type of adult situations. So I'm going to go with the big dog, the OG, the number mm. one show that everybody thinks about when, you, when you're when you talking about HBO. I'm going to go with mm. Game of Thrones. Game of it. Thrones. The show... Yes. The show that not only, Are you serious? The sh- yes. Uh, the the show, show that fell off after season five? <laughs> uh, the show that everybody was talking about from... for. Well, for the whole uh, series, you never made then, a then, week. You never and made then, a and week. And so that everybody now remembers in disgust. As soon as no. you said Game of Thrones, everybody face turned up like, mm. no, <laughs> no, no. The show that you, I mean, you could go on Twitter now and you could scroll for two seconds and you can find that part where, um, where where her dragon is killing that slave owner and the slaves are rebelling against uh against the masters you can find that now on twitter so i'm going with game yeah. of thrones the number one show on hbo and it, it was the number one show it had the highest ratings even with the last season you know that's kind of debatable and um yeah, yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say game of thrones for about eight years yeah so it dropped in 2011 so for about we'll say to at least 2017 to the six years that's that's good. That's good. He's gonna get him thrones. 
and um, it was Clone Wars with the original. So mm. what we'll do, you know, when they go low, we'll go high, and we'll 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 reach back. And one of our most longest, we have two longest, our longest running shows. Um, but I'll choose one, um, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. And so with what? that one, with that one, it, it showed you know a relationship of a mother taking care of her sons. But I, as they're at this hotel, they run into Chris Brown, Dwight Howard. They got this rich Asian girl that's cool. You know what I'm saying? They just so lit. They even mess around, get on, move on a cruise ship. So that um, that's gonna have to be my um, yeah, that's gonna be my rebuttal. Well, so y'all decide, hey America, y'all decide who who wins that round. Well, we gotta discuss because no. Toronto, you oh, obviously yeah, lost. No. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, obviously right. lost. Exactly. This round. <laughs> the sweet life of <laughs> Zach and Cody. <laughs> Look, that's look, all we there. I'm trying to stick to like, what? I know. I, I, was, I was trying to stick to the what? original stuff. I'm trying no. to stick to the original stuff. No, no, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, and I'm trying know. to wait. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to wait to pull out the big dog. We got six rounds. I'm trying to I'm wait. To pull not out the I'm not <laughs> oh, okay. waiting. I'm coming out the hey. gate. I'm coming Damn. out the gate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that not waiting. Nah. And, then, and then Game of Thrones fell off as a season five. That's still five seasons, though. That's Clone still five Wars seasons. Was consistent for for seven fucking seasons. Five Dude. of them on Cartoon Network, one of them on Netflix, and did this. Plus, was like, you know what? We want some of that action. Give us season seven. So Dude. come on. Game of Thrones has fifty nine primetime Emmys. They still, even when they were fall, even when they were falling off, they still had three more seasons after they fell off. They're um, last episode was the highest rated show and the highest most watched show of their time. You can't you can't even discuss that. So quality, um, the quality of writing was good. What was in the writing, what the plot was about may have been uh, uh, questionable, but the quality of writing was phenomenal. <laughs> the characters were <laughs> no, it phenomenal. Wasn't. Yes, it was. The plot wasn't so good, but the quality of writing was amazing. Not at the end, Jared. Because it's all about <laughs> consistency. It's all about consistency. And Star Wars was hitting season after season from the rise of the bounty hunters to secrets revealed. Like everything was in this motherfucking show. Like you want to know, you want to see how Anakin really became Darth Vader. This is it, and it mm. shows you the, the 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 culmination of everything that he's done. His try, his relationship with Padme, him trying to become, him trying to be a, a lover and a Jedi, stay true to his mm-hmm. oath and. But you, you know can't do that. It's hard. Yeah, yo, you, you took you, that off. Because with, with, with the series, with the watching the watching the movies, you just see you see Anakin, you see him get burned, and then, you know what I'm saying. Then it's Darth Vader, you know, it's like it's like what happened? How did that? How did he go from this? You know what I'm saying, elite Jedi to this crazed maniac? You see the seeds being sown. Of course, shows you that whole revolution. Shows you the entire development of that character and introduces one of the characters that you said you can't wait for their show to come out, Ahsoka. Mm-hmm. Well, well, that that still doesn't mean it's higher than Game of Thrones. So, I, I, yeah, I, I, I think I think it's <laughs> I, I I think it's my turn now. I think it's my turn now, uh, yep, and I'm yep. going to take it all the way back to 1998. But with a show, yeah, with a show that's still relevant. This is this is a family podcast, Jerry. You can't be talking about. You can't be bringing up no no soft core porn, no Skinamax. We ain't, this ain't <laughs> that ain't what we doing. <laughs> yes, I can because it's a part of the. It's a part. It's a part of HBO hey, family. Yeah. <laughs> so, but no, this show not only has twenty four Golden Glows, fifty four Emmys, eleven Screen After Deal Awards. It has produced two feature films. Uh, in theaters, a prequel series on the CW, and right now on HBO, they are doing uh, a another series, uh, and this show is Sex in the City. This show has mm. the the uh, di- di- I mean I mean this show was a culture phenomenon. Yeah, you yeah. couldn't go anywhere without hearing about Sex in the City. Um, if you didn't, if you you knew who you were, whether it was Carrie, a Samantha, a Miranda, or the other one. <laughs> but yes, mm-hmm. I'm doing Sex in the City. Um, their new show, and just like that, um, it still it, it still features um, one of the 
biggest and brightest and most talked about uh, show on uh, on TV now. I mean, when Big died, what was that? And Sex in the City, uh, her wedding in the movies, her love. Um, that movie was trash. Excuse me. I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Her, her love and all of her um, uh, boyfriends throughout the years. And I'm just talking about Carrie and not the rest of the two girls um, who were three girls who were featured. But this show and this show was a phenomenon. And, and let's not even talk about the fashions. Now, y'all may not be. Fashion, yeah. Yeah. Um, but that shit the, was in the tone. The dresses, the heels that everything that they were doing in this show. High designer. Yeah. yeah, high designer, high fashion, haute couture, and a winter. Like these, this show set the stage for, for what would be the modern millennial woman. And I'm doing yeah. sex in the city. Blackberries. <laughs> Blackberries. <laughs> yeah. They was in the, okay. He going sex in the city, so. Um. Uh. Let me. Let me. Let me go uh, ahead. Uh, it's on me. It's on me. It's on me. I got you. I got you. I okay. Got, you. got. Go ahead. Then go ahead. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me throw. Let me throw this one out real quick. You know, because he 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 wanted to do something that they had a once again a long show, a uh, long running you know show, uh, something that affects the culture, something that like she like he said it influenced how everyone acted, and that that's that's real that's a real major thing. So I'm choosing that. So Raven. I'm choosing that so Raven because she was an icon and how she was a woman and how she um yeah okay, okay. that's what I'm choosing okay okay uh since we want to throw it back I throw it back this show has created countless spinoffs countless fucking re remakes you know and it's still being remade today it's got like two at least two movies. Um, but it's plenty of shit around the show. It's super fans all over the world. And it taught us what it meant to solve a mystery. You know what I'm saying? To work together with a team and like the dynamics between this group of people is they were so complex and there's so many theories around what was going on. And people still talk about it to this day, man. Scooby Doo, where mm. are you? You know what I'm saying? What are y'all thinking? You know what I'm saying? This is a Scooby Doo show coming out next year at mm -hmm. this point. And Sex in the City was one and done. Don't nobody give a fuck about that. I ain't even see Sex in the City. That shit ran uh, for a while, Raven, though. That's so Raven just had that one show, one season. And no, no, Raven, Raven kind of, Raven kind of, man, hey, it's my, I'm talking right now. <laughs> Raven kind of disappointed us all with her in her adulthood. Uh, she had a, you know, phase to go through. But Scooby Doo has been consistent, resilient, ragged. What, what y'all what gonna do with that? But Shaggy taught us what it meant to smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? Look at Lorante right now. <laughs> don't move the camera now. <laughs> right. Don't move the camera now. <laughs> See, yeah. Dude, you wouldn't, even, wouldn't, you wouldn't even know what that smell was without Shaggy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wonder, well, <laughs> yeah, I wonder why my camera stayed off. Red what it meant to be in the friend zone <laughs> and how to get out of it. Oh, man. That uh, was Velma. Dude. Dude. Tell so, me y'all ain't watching that, uh, that show Velma. No. See her well, thick ass. Well, I, I, okay, so I watched Velma and it was the worst show on HBO and I will not pick Velma today, but Velma, I mean, Scooby-Doo, you literally picked the worst show on Cartoon Network. You picked the But they had countless guests. What are you talking about? Don Knox, fucking Shaq was in that show. Uh, like, you you name, name a famous person from the 90s, they was on Scooby-Doo. Not even before that, too, though. Even before that. Even before that, in the fucking 80s, you know what I'm saying? Shit, Michael Keaton was on there. Michael Keaton? They definitely yeah, got some random man. They, they had, they had, they had hey. Batman and Robin crossover. Yeah. Hey, come on in. Come on in real quick. Goddamn, if you but Scooby Doo on Zombie Island? That movie alone. Stop it. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna have to go with mine, of course, to win. But Laranta, yours is second because because you do see Raven, like Raven and the whole Disney Channel that. Because those tweens that grew up with Raven, you do see them all acting the same. So I would have to go mm -hmm. with Laurence, but Scooby. I, I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't give Sexy would. City shit, man. Because you talking about something that's, that's not for millennial you. Millennial woman. 
Man. You saw this millennial woman. Like, look at Man. look at the state of uh, look at the state of the state of women today. The state of relationships. Whoa, 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 Different podcasts. Different podcasts. Different podcasts. Different podcasts. Nah, different nah, podcasts. Nah, nah, nah. The state of, <laughs> look at the state of relationships, man. Yo, like I'm just saying, it's a lot of unhappy women, it's a lot of unhappy men, and it's hard for us to come together. And a lot of people blame the millennial woman. I don't. I'm a millennial myself. I think women are in the best the best place they've been in a long time. And it's just, you know, it happened so fast and it really didn't give us, and we didn't have a lot of tools to deal with that change. And sex in the city is part of the problem. It's not part of the problem. It's part of the solution. Because you get to actually see how these women are, are these, going these, through their change. These young you women can learn from it. These young women are trying to emulate these, what, 50 year old divorcees? Oh my that's God. That's trying to pick up, a, pick up a young man? Stop it. Oh. No, because okay. right. that's so, not um, at all what Sex and the City is about. You haven't even seen it. They are going with people. Well, most of them are going with people their own age. I mean, most one of them, of them is they're dating. Yeah, they're, they're like Because mm-hmm. only bachelor. Samantha mm-hmm. likes younger younger men. So, mm-hmm. but you haven't you haven't seen the show. They're getting show. money you their own the way. You're right. I have. And the markets they're 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 it. getting money their own way. Exactly. Um, they're entrepreneurs. They're bachelorettes. Exactly. And so they're they're out there kind of dating, mm-hmm. and um, uh huh. It's is definitely uh demographics, mm-hmm. but that like sound, that sound like uh, a lot of women I meet different. today. They they entrepreneurs, they making money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. that dating, You know right. what I'm saying? And you know, I think we all thought we'd be in a different place at this point in our lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the mm-hmm. biggest part of Second of the City is even though they are with men and men is a big part of the show. Um, what you have to know about Second City is that they do not need a man to survive. And that's the number one part. Yeah. And, and what you need to know is they put if they put the the, the mystery game the, mm-hmm. on that sh- on Sex in the City, they'll figure that shit right on out. Listen, yeah. all that shit be unmasked in thirty minutes. Let me oh, give y'all oh, a throwback. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all a throwback. I'm gonna give Go y'all ahead. a throwback. Well, I think it's the it's reason. The reason I watched that show, Sex in the City. Imagine a thirteen year old kid, and he what's the first word in the uh. And it's on HBO. Was the first word in the title? Sex in the City. What? Let me. Yeah. All right. And then you watched what? me. You were disappointed. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Man. Disappointed like a motherfucker. What is going on here? What is like, going what the on fuck? here? I've been bamboozled. Nah. Right. Nah, because Sex I, in the City. When I watched it was on, around. Yeah. When it was on HBO, it used to come Sex in the City, and then it would be like real sex, where they would do the actual real sex, and then like taxi cab confessions, and then cyber sex. So you had this whole sex block. That just started with Sex in the City, and then it would go to like the sexy. Sex in the City can't take the accolades from other shows that actually were about sex. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. And it did. Don't it do did. that. But we'll, we'll, we'll go on. We'll go on. We'll go on. Since we were talking about women, we're going to take it back to, um, I want to say 1996. I got to look at the notes. But we're going to do one of my favorite um, original animated movies that went to the theaters and did really well. Uh, Box Office Day, you know, broke records for the time it went, um, won all the awards it needed to win. For illustration, music, and directing, um, Mulan. I love Mulan, man. I love the story Ooh. of she was for her father. She, hey, she was gonna fight for the family's honor. Hey. She wasn't a traditional woman at that time, right? She was her own. She walked her own beat. So she, she finally dressed come up. with something good. Finally come. You know, with know something what I'm good. saying? She, she <laughs> covered it up. She covered it up. She went out there. Boom. She's stronger than some of these niggas. I know some bitches stronger yeah. than some of these niggas. So it's, it, it was it was a really good movie. I, I love that. Movie. She was out there getting she was out there getting down to business. That's you know, bad. come That's on, come on, come on, come on now. She waking up crack of dawn. Y'all still <laughs> sleep. She out there trying right. to climb that. <laughs> come on. So that's oh. who I got for this round. Jerry, what's up? My turn. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you did a movie. Um and it I'm going to do a show based on a book um and uh this show starred uh and and this show like uh Mulan starred you know people who weren't white um and it starred them uh doing great things big things and bold things for um their community and for themselves and it showed them doing this in unconventional ways the show i'm talking about is Lovecraft Country. It stars mm. and and, and, and li- li- I mean, listen to this cast: Journey Smith, Arjun Ellis, Courtney B. Vance, and you know, yeah. um, Michael K. Williams and Jonathan Majors. Who I mean, he 
You got to say his name last now, huh? <laughs> yeah, you got to say his name last. <laughs> but you had these huge people doing this phenomenal show. And even though they said and in the beginning that this was a miniseries, that there won't be a season two, that, you know, it just wouldn't work out. And even when they went back and thought about season two, that it, that it they just couldn't work for a season two. There's, everybody is still, I'm talking about, why would they cancel this show when it was only for a limited series? You know, you have to remember this series can actually be watched as a movie because the end of an episode usually goes right into the beginning of the next episode. Like, and and, and then you have to remember the huge parts of this series, like the Jigaboo episode, the episode where they're going through mm-hmm. time and all of the monsters of the world <laughs> and and everything associated with this with this series. So, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Lovecraft Country. And it's huge, huge effect on everybody. And, and, and it was during the pandemic. So we were all inside watching this together. So, yeah. Lovecraft Country. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that begs the question. Had it not been a pandemic, would the show have done as well? Um, but I'm going to give y'all a show that we all watch regardless. And then we watch episode after episode, reruns, all that shit. Like, we we was at home waiting on it to come on. Uh, and, you know, since we're going to stick, I'm going to stick to the theme of women empowerment. You know what I'm saying? The Powerpuff Girls. They taught us mm. what it meant for a woman to be mm. powerful. They taught us mm. what it meant he for spin. a woman to manage that power to <laughs> save the world. Come on, man. And to be raised by a single father? Man, he Professor spin. Antonio was on his job with them girls. You know what I'm talking about? No, nah, he bored said fuck around that lab. <laughs> Made Dude, three of them. Is, how do you how do you manage a uh, arch enemy with ultimate power in your hand? And still and then still deal with the, you know what I'm saying, the rigmarole of what comes with being a woman. The powerful girl shows you all that. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, and that, that and nigga. it was so good, they had to remake it. And it was so good before then, they had to make a version where the powerful girls were grown up. They said, what does this mm-hmm. look like for a preteen, for a teenager? Mm-hmm. But that Man. show is canceled on on the CW. The show is canceled. The remake. Oh, the, the, where they're the remake. I mean, hey, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Oh, yeah, they stopped. Hey, they they, they stopped canceled. They canceled Love Craft Country. So hey, it was hey. It was a mini series. It was we a stand, mini we stand in we stand in theme. We stand it was in a theme. mini series. <laughs> it was a mini we stand series. Stand in theme. <laughs> yeah, Powerpuff um, Girls got canceled in pre-production. They started filming, and it was like, hey, bro, this ain't right. All right, man, I cut the cord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, and that's um, good though. Sometimes you need that though. Sometimes, yeah. Power of Girls is good. Uh, uh, it was Jenny Tchaikovsky, and uh, the way that they mm-hmm. would uh, destroy Mojo Jojo, that that was <laughs> yeah, they used to wo- abuse. And then the biggest and twist in the Professor world, Tony made that Jojo nigga. was their big brother. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, he was their big brother. But I think my favorite uh person who who nobody in that universe could actually say their say his name and uh and he is the most influential person on that show was him him was mm. the best show an icon him gay was, uh, character um i gotta watch that episode ball, again all yeah. tens my at the ball and he he um he he was the best thing on that show my favorite, my favorite thing on that show that came up was the Rowdy Rough Boys. Like, yo, the Rowdy Rough Boys came in wrecking shop. They was like, "Hey, boys can do it too." <laughs> it was fucking shit up. But, but also, um, the other shows on there, like uh, Justice League Now, or what was it called, the Action American Heroes, or something. That Action was- League Now. No, not Action League Now, but the, the- that was on Dexter. Yeah, the mm-hmm. show. Oh, that was on Dexter's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not, um... With the Van Hill. You, you just mean like the shorts? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah. But yeah, I think I think Mulan Mulan in a fight. I don't know. Even though Pop Up Girls have like superpowers, they can still die. And Mulan would be uh, on some cold shit. Oh no, nah, boy. Pop Up Girls, see Pop Up Girls, maybe they can die. But they, you wouldn't even get the chance. You, you saw how he used to stump out Mojo Jojo? 
They used to stump out uh like Fozzie, <laughs> the fucking pink thing. Boy, they yeah. the Powerpuff, if you get on the Powerpuff girls radar, shit, ain't nothing, ain't nothing you can do. That's but it. this is the thing, they didn't have any fucking fingers. They didn't have no fingers. Everybody had fingers but them girls. They had no fingers because they, they were all fish. Shit. They, all fish, they all shit. hands, all the time. <laughs> they don't need no fingers. Yeah. <laughs> They steady yeah. grabbing shit though, no fingers. Yeah. <laughs> that, That's how strong they fist was. <laughs> and, and, and that theme is a very that, that I mean, I mean that theme to the Powerful Girls. Like, who can deny that theme? So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> damn, damn! I'll get beat. That's three. I don't lost three in a row. All right, we go turn around. Now, okay. hey, look, I'm about to start going with my bag. Then I'm, a, I'm, a, I, I, I did enough All original. Right. Now I'm gonna, dip, I'm gonna dip into the what we acquired over time. Debrief, okay. y'all. Debrief for this for this first round, man. Uh, I I really love the Game of Thrones, man. And I'm and yeah. what makes me so mad about Game of Thrones is that it got so bad so fast. So because I was <laughs> I loved that show and I was into it. Watch was watching it over and over again. Ooh, man, it got bad quick. Hey, it got bad quick, bro. So it was like, quick hey. after five seasons. <laughs> That's like no, five no, no. seasons. No, no, me, no, I'm saying I'm saying the decline. Like it was like uh, season five, good. Season six, boom! I was like, "Whoa!" What, what, what happened in season six? I, I like because it's, if it's eight seasons, I like it up until season eight. Like season seven and a half, exactly. I was I was kind of uh, but season eight, hold on, okay, mm-hmm. cool. We now, going like somewhere. season five. I think like half of season five was good, and it just started to, started like a slow decline. Season six started, and it just dropped, fell fell uh, straight mm-hmm. off. Now, if anything, the drop was after she walked through after Cersei walked through the town, and it was shame. Uh, I mm-hmm. think that that was the Oh, drive. no, that was a good part. That was a real good part. Yeah. Because that was Cersei getting her just desserts for me. I was like, hey, Cersei, Cersei but, been yeah. needing a, 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 a reality check, an ego check. But guess that what? That was it right there. And, and then, Yo, then when, when she, she got out. Up, yeah. Yeah. When exactly. she got when out, she blew, blew up the. Oh, the she blew up that temple. That cult All them church. fucking people. Yeah. And, then, people. and then she gets her just desserts again because Thomas was just like, hey, fuck this. And just jumped out the window. I was like, hey, yo. Because yeah. he was all about his wife. He was all about his wife, man. He was ready to be king. He's trying to be an honorable man. And he's like, no, oh, she's a mama, mama, no mama couldn't let go. Yeah. Mama couldn't let go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mama could but, but like Cersei, her story, because she loved her kids so much. And then when her and her brother's her, kids. Yeah. Oh, her, yeah. Her nieces and nephews. Mm. She loved her children. Mm. They came out of her body. So she loved her children mm. so mm. much that like they were also they, her nieces and nephews. <laughs> when they started dying. Uh, and she just got progressively and progressively more and more evil and protective. And then uh, as soon as uh, oh, uh, I don't think she up, became more evil and possessive. She was she was a bitch before they started dying. I mean, she was, but like when uh, I think that when her daughter died, um, mm-hmm. I, I, mm-hmm. I, that's when she really got to be like, I have to protect Thomas. But you gotta, but you gotta look at it this way. Like every single one of her children died because of her. Yeah. Fucking Joffrey, because she was being a fucking dick to that old lady from the flowers. Mm-hmm. Like she kept, she it. kept, she kept forcing shit on. She kept forcing shit on her, and like yeah. she kept poking the bear, and that lady was like, "All right, now I gotta, now I gotta show you something." Yeah. Uh, yeah real quick. Her, her daughter, Let- like yeah. in Dorn. I'll go ahead. Her, her daughter that died in Dorn. She she died because she had the mountain kill uh that lady that lady uh husband I don't know if it was her boyfriend or something like that mm-hmm. like Cersei was always trying to put her pride before her children mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. don't tell me she loved her kids no she loved herself and then fucking Tommy we just talked about that she blew up that man's wife and so he killed herself let Cersei got Cersei. her just desserts every time because she was gonna be a good queen. She was gonna be a really good queen. No, she wasn't. No, the wife. The wife. Oh, you talking about wife. the wife? Oh, yeah, she was. What's her name? And she hated. I forgot her name. And Cersei hated that people loved her more than right. uh, more than they loved Cersei. Just because she, she was like, she was, was like, all over that one. Do I call you mom? Do I call you sister? I just don't know. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. oh my god! Yo, do I call you mom or do I call you sister? Hey, but, yo. But I have She'll to be go like, hey. She be like, "Hey, I'll give them. I let's get, let's give the town people some soup." Cersei be like, "Ugh, why are we doing that, man?" You know, what I'm saying simple shit. Like she'll she'll provide education. She'll do stuff for the kids. She'll mm-hmm. she'll do simple just policy, right? Just be a good politician, you know what I'm saying? But Cersei, 
just like you said, just for herself. I'm sorry. Continue with conversation. Yeah. So I think that I won the first round, but the second round, I think that Laranta has some really good arguments with that. So Raven, um, I never saw that. So Raven, uh, but it's for, the, do, it's for America to vote. You didn't even see that. So Raven, so I didn't I think mean, that's a good I point. do see the effects of the show throughout like TV. I do see other TV wow. shows mimicking their style, and I do see people, uh, uh, you know, emulating Raven, Raven Simone. What I, who is I don't, TV I don't icon. see that. You don't, I don't see that. I don't see that at all. Nah. Um, but what I will say, that's so Raven had some bops in it though. The music in that's so Raven we used to be on. That's what they, that's what they did right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was, it was a good show. Um, what was I about to say about that's so Raven, man? It's uh um, like because Hannah Montana was kind of like that's so Raven. If that made, but I, but I ain't gonna go too, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna go too, I ain't gonna go too deep into it. It was a different story, uh, but like the quirkiness of like how they shot a show, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. And, um, but yeah, so and then the third round, third round, who won the third round? I would say Demarcus. Oh, that's Papa Girls. <laughs> yeah, I would say Demarcus. Oh, right, Puff. <laughs> yeah, I would say Demarcus. Oh. Have y'all seen the commercials for Jenny Takowski's new show? Mm-mm. I think no, it comes out next week that's or the uh, week after. Unicorn. That's the girl who played Wednesday, Wednesday, right? No, that's Jenny Ortega. No, Jenny Takowski is the creator of Powerful Girls. That's her laboratory stuff like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, you should look it up. Mm-hmm. Okay, it, okay, looks, okay. it looks like the Avatar. Um, mm-hmm. okay. okay. Well, let's do this again. Let's really pull out our heavy hitters this time. Uh, who went All right. first? Who, who went first last time? I think you go first this uh, time. Laurentes got first this time. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna pull out. I'm gonna pull out one, something we acquired because they had a vision, and what like as a as any good business, when we see someone that has you know a great vision, a good idea, but they can't see it all the way through, they might just you know a little a bigger budget. So we acquire them, and seeing what's going on. I'm choosing the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm. So just that story being told from beginning to end. Just and like where it's at put now. out there, you didn't pick Marvel, you picked Disney. But all right, let's let it ride. Let's go. I said, I said, I said, I told nah, you. Nah, go ahead, go ahead, I'm brother, going in the bag. I'm going in the bag now. Y'all go making me go in the bag. <laughs> go, go ahead, get in your bag. Y'all making me dig. Y'all making me dig. Get in your bag, I gotta, sir. I gotta, I gotta dig. So just that whole story of get in your bag. Iron Man in the cave to where we are now. You know, they did a snap. You know, people were gone for five years, and mm. then we killed, we killed Thanos. Thanos was right, by the way. Killed, we killed Wait, are you are you are you are you choo- are you choosing the entire Marvel cinematic <laughs> line? Like, what are you doing? Like, you that's pick, not fair. Pick one movie or one show. But y'all, y'all keep y'all keep doing shows, and I'm like, I pick a movie, y'all do shows. So I I, I do well, Infinity pick a War. Then. I do. I do. I I do Infinity War. I do Infinity War. Just the culmination of everything that's happened from Tony Stark in the cave to Black Panther leaving Wakanda. To kill mm-hmm. dying, die, just that whole mm-hmm. leading up to Infinity War, and a lot of questions were being answered. And that was something that was it was over the course of what ten years, or how long was it? Oh yeah, man, no, no, Phase One was long as motherfucker. Just to even get even get up there, so what y'all got? What y'all got? <clears throat> it's my what y'all um, got? so you picking you picking Infinity War. I'm yep. gonna I'm I'm gonna go to the dark side of Cartoon Network, the side that we started watching once we became teenagers, you know what I'm saying, preteens or whatever. You know, uh after we could stay up late past uh nine, ten o'clock, you know what I'm saying? Cartoon Network became a whole different uh network. Uh <laughs> and I'm gonna go with the with the oldie but a goodie, the Thundercat. They had to remake that motherfucker and bring it back. And you know, as epic as the Marvel Universe is, it ain't holding a candle to the Thundercats because they got that classic that, uh, was, that, was, that was dope and the remake that was dope. Hey, hey, uh, your, your mama and daddy know about the Thundercats. Shit. Uh, Lion O, Chitara. Yeah, but the amount you, you used to, you used to sit there and look at Chitara off. and just think about what you'll do to that. She came by. <laughs> Opening box office for Infinity War. Blows anything Thundercats ever did in its entirety. What? The remake. The remake. The remake. <laughs> the what? remake made, the remake. made some money. The remake. Right. I, 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 I stood on that. I stood on that. There's no comparison. 
The fact that there are two versions know. of this and they only have Infinity War. Come on, man. I don't know. Come on. Jared, what you got? <laughs> yeah, uh, since we're uh, kind of in the realm of superheroes and uh, and kind of in uh, that bag right now of animated superheroes, I think I'm going to go with probably one of the best or the best superhero show of all time up there with oh. Batman, the animated series up there with Gargoyles, um, the number one best animated series of all time. That's a superhero show. And it had blood. It had titties and it had dick in it. I'm talking about spawn spawn. Oh, I was <laughs> like, what? Is- <laughs> no spawn. I was like, where is this going? <laughs> Spawn with Keith David, the dark <laughs> superhero, who is a precursor. Laranta, you were wrong. Uh, on the Marvel Cinematic Universe, did not start with Iron Man in the cave. It started with Blade, a black person. And what is Spawn? He is also black. And on Black Geek <clears throat> Energy, we give homage to all of our black characters. And Spawn was a black <clears throat> character. He died and he <clears throat> came back as a soldier for the underworld trying to defeat the angels who were trying to destroy earth and he and he went through some horrific things he went through a killer clowns demons and the like so yeah i gotta go with spawn voiced by the number one supreme amazing keith david and yeah i'm i'm going with spawn it had mm. six episodes <laughs> per season had three seasons so 18 episodes in all yeah, I gotta go with Spawn. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Uh, yeah. Let me go ahead and kick off this next section. Uh, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a do. If we talking about something that's gonna influence the generation, it has movies, has shows, has remakes, has games, has everything, has fantasies, fan fictions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's one for the ladies. We're going with Sailor Moon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How do you grow up as a woman? How do you how do you grow, how does a young girl grow up coming to power? That ain't, you know, meet her meet her future daughter, and then if, you know what I'm if, saying. Introduce us to what, war. Introduce <laughs> us to what transsexuals are, to what a hermaphrodite is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Same sex relationships. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Everything Infinity is in this War. show. And forty-one blowing it out the water. America, make sure y'all vote. Make sure y'all vote. The link will be in the description. Oh, this, is, need, this, is, the next, this is the next round. This is the next round. This is the next, next round. Next, this is the next round. round. This is the next round. What are you doing? This is the next okay. round. <laughs> this is the next round. All right, my bad. My bad. What did you put up? What did you Jerry, put up to, uh, Infinity War? Sailor, my bad. What did you? Oh, what did I put up to Infinity War? Uh, Thundercats. Okay. Thundercats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. My bad. My bad. See. See. Yeah, we got vote. Shouldn't be smoking. Right, okay. smoking ass. You ain't That's why I'm glad I don't. That's why I'm glad I don't smoke. So, um, yeah, Sailor so, Moon. Sailor Moon was mm-hmm. a phenomenal show for women, for girls. Probably one then of my, and now. Then and now, probably one of my favorite uh, um, anime. But I got to go with the show that has inspired shows today. That is my favorite show of all time. That that the content on this show um, really made me who I am and made me wish that I was there with them experiencing the joys and the pain inside that place. Um, What I'm talking about is Oz. This show. Mm. uh, I don't know. (laughs) I ain't never seen it. you, You don't know about Oz? I never mm. saw it. It's a jail. It's a jail series. It's long. It's yeah. it got a lot of stories. Yeah, it's Pri- 50, prison. Prison. Fifty six episodes. Um, it, hey, it get wild. Uh, six seasons. Oz was probably and Oz was the first show. The first show that um that did flashback sequences and made those flashback sequences a part of the um the show listen to this cast of characters you got harold uh perenu who starred in lost which was heavily influences him influenced on um on oz you got um 
J.K. Simmons at uh, uh, Aki Akinuyi Agabaja. You can't even pronounce the name. I can't, right. I can't pronounce it. I can't pronounce it, but he uh, was or is my favorite person. I had the hugest crush on him when I was little. He was amazing. Um, you got Ernie Hudson, a phenomenal actor. Uh, you have so many great people on this show. Like the lead in Law and Order now was a phenomenal actor when it came to his uh, struggles and his uh, uh, trials and tribulations in Oz. Oz uh, was a great show for Black characters. It really gave those Black characters a uh, a propelling point. It was a great show for Latino characters. It was a stepping stone for all of these not really well-known actors to really go beyond um, uh, who they were. And they got a lot of great, great, great um, roles after this. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go with with Oz, uh, probably one of the best shows uh, in on HBO ever. Okay. All right. All right. Understood. The show, the show I'm going to choose, it's about a woman. Um, she's really good at her mm -hmm. job. Um, they're in D.C. Um, and the fashion on it, like it, it, back to just women being there, just women in powerful positions. Um, you know, she's dressed really well. Uh, the show I'm choosing is Scandal. Um, where oh, Carrie Washington is that on plays. Disney? It's ABC. Uh, is that on Disney? It's ABC. So Disney owns ABC. We acquired them back in 95. Amen. Amen. No, no, it counts. Counts. These loopholes, no, it counts. It counts. It counts. It does. It does count. It does count. It's a loophole, but it counts. Ninety. Almost since ninety-five now, so it it Disney now. It ain't you know, but um, hey, but yeah, hey. Scandal was just a really powerful show. Um, I, I loved how she was only one or two times she was like you know kind of timid, but for the most majority of the time she was you know an alpha female. She was telling it. Telling folks what it is and what it ain't. She was going into bad situations and turning them around. You know, she always came with solutions. You know, um, what's word problem solving oriented. So I love I loved uh, Olivia Pope mm -hmm. and uh, her story. Um, I didn't like. I personally didn't like the uh, affair with the president. But mm -hmm. uh, you know, that was just it was part of the show. You know, the scandal. It got to be a scandal there somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. So so that's the show I'm gonna use. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this last round, I'm going to kick it off and, uh, kind of in this episode, uh, for this last round, uh, I could do a lot of different things. Um, and I'm looking at the list. I can't really choose just one. Um, uh, I want to do, um, Curb Your Enthusiasm because I love Curb Your Enthusiasm itself. But then nobody watch that, so... <laughs> You said nobody watch it? Nobody watched it except you. Yeah, I missed it. No, actually, a lot of folks do watch it. A lot of folks do. America, y'all got to vote. America, y'all got to vote. Which which folks? Which folks? Not, describe, not the, me. describe the demographic. Everybody for that show. watches it. <laughs> describe your the for that show. Curve your enthusiasm is hilarious. Describe the demographic for that show. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that right now. But um, uh -huh. the what, show. What, what, what energy is this? What energy is this? Anyway, <laughs> the show Which geek energy is this show? <laughs> the show geek energy? that I am doing is uh... a 1989 show. The last broadcast of this show was in 1996. Um, this show has a phenomenal main character, but every episode of this show um did a new story. Um uh, this show actually won uh, Motion Pictures Guild Awards, uh, American Cinema Actors Awards, and I actually had a few reboots and two movies. I'm going with Tales from the Crypt. Uh, huh. this, this show was an amazing, horrifying, well, horrible show, because I love horror, mm -hmm. and it was very scary, and I don't even uh, know many episodes of TV that are on today that scared me as much as those episodes of Tales from the Crypt. That circus episode uh, was horrifying. The bug episode was equally as frightful, 
and then it continued on and on and on throughout its whole run of fascinating, amazing uh, graphic violence, profanity, sexual activity, and nudity, because we're all adults here, and I don't know why we chose Cartoon Network, but we're all adults here, and <laughs> we, um, we uh, are, aren't on Disney Channel, and we have the ability to take in such things that are adult things and and really absorb them and appreciate them for their storytelling. So yeah, I'm going Tales from the Crypts as the winning uh, TV show. Okay. Yeah. You want to tell you want you want to take this one because mine will set it down. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna get mine out the way really quick. Um, you said Tales from the Crypt, so I'm definitely thinking um, on the genre side of things. So. We're gonna, you know, we've been doing this for a while, so I'm gonna choose something from the '90s as well. I'm gonna choose a movie. <laughs> I'm gonna choose a movie. The movie uh, "Don't Look Under the Bed." I'm gonna choose mm. that movie because of this. This one image alone. Going this back to one, the- <laughs> this one. Yeah, this- yeah. Going back to the Disney Channel this- originals, huh? Ooh, Come on, yeah. God. This one image alone it caused a lot of fear in a lot of kids. <laughs> <laughs> It has hey, you know a it was a good movie. It had a good storyline. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you, especially in October, look at it. Look at it now, but in October, a little scary. You know what I'm saying? Turn the lights low. It's got this one scene. It's gonna it's gonna come out of nowhere. This one gonna, scene. Oh. This one scene. Okay. The whole movie is a good. It's a it's a really good movie where he shrinks down, goes under the bed, under the bed's whole like realm, and um, you know, good and evil and stuff like that. So I'm gonna choose them. Go ahead, Demarcus. Uh, <laughs> So a series that has captivated generations, not just our generation, not just our younger siblings' generations, not just our children's generations, but even our grandchildren's generations at this point. This this series started in the 80s. It's continuing on even now. Oh, These are episodes every day. And you know, it has the 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 fans of this series, the 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 cult it has uh enraptured has coined a phrase that I think will encapsulate this entire debate that we've been having. And that is, can they beat Goku, though? Mm. Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. You, you got the story. You got, you got the original Dragon Ball. That's the story of an alien being raised by humans that comes into his own power. Then the story of his son. How does he grow up? How does he that he did become a father? How does he transition that? And now they they're gods. How do you go from being a mere mortal to 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 being to having un, otherworldly godly power? Yeah, come there's, on. There's nowhere to go. He's like Superman. Like there's nowhere to exactly. Go with his there's story. there's nowhere to go from here. This yeah. is it. This is the end. But there was nowhere to go when it Good was night. in the nineties. And it's still good night. Fine. Cut 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 the past. Cut the podcast off. We done. See y'all next time, America. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think so. That that wasn't a good show. So you've never seen nah, Steven Universe or Adventure Time? It's an amazing show. I don't seen both of those. You don't mm-hmm. like those shows? You don't think that's... I Steven? like uh, Adventure Time. You don't like Steven Universe? Eh, it's okay. It's okay. I couldn't get into it. I couldn't get into it. I'll admit. Oh, that theme song made me cry when I binged it. Like, mm. just hearing... We are the crystal gems made me start bawling when I was binging that show. That oh. show could have shut it down. And you chose Dragon Ball mm-hmm. Z. Dragon Ball Z, man. It got the longevity. No, it doesn't. To have longevity, people actually yes, have to still watch the show. People have to still it's, watch people the still show. People still watch the show. I was just talking to one of my coworkers to, the other day, and she's like, oh, yeah, my, my kids are in the Dragon Ball Z. I remember when I used to watch Dragon Ball Z. And now but, they're watching it. I'm like, hey, yo, that's it right there. But but she doesn't watch anymore, so that's not longevity. That is longevity. No, you, her life ended with up. Dragon Ball Z. What? Like, if it was a good show, then they she would still be watching it. If Tales from the Crypt was on today, I would still be watching it. All of my no, shows have longevity. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No, all of your shows have been canceled. <laughs> they are not. They are no, no longer airing. They ended. Because they have actual endings and they to the ended show. badly. <laughs> they didn't end bad. Okay, let's go over these shows. Uh, uh, my movie's in because I, I I just don't I just want them to end. I'm like, all right, y'all contract up. We need some more young ones. 
Get the new talent in. <laughs> so, Get the new so, talent in. So you did in-game. Uh, I did spawn. And who did you do for the first one? Thundercats. Thundercats. Now, I did mm-hmm. like both of those shows. Uh, I, mm-hmm. I still think that the adult themes in Spawn were so amazing. Have y'all ever seen Spawn? No, I just seen the live. I just seen the movie. Mm, you gotta watch that. I've seen the cartoon. It's, yeah, it's it's really Where it's a it? really short cartoon. It's on HBO. It's, it's on HBO oh, for sure. For yeah, it's sure, it's a really short cartoon. It is so good. But yeah. I really did. Tom, like Tom McFarlane like intros every episode. Yeah, yeah, and uh, the um, but uh, Thundercast was really good. I don't know why they canceled that remake of that show, and then they came back with a third know. remake that was like a chibi. It was like mm. kids or ten orange like adventure time did you see that it's about yeah. money yeah it's, it's about money. money and that's why i can't give it to you because of that third remake it was just that second <laughs> remake i think you would have won the markets but in my opinion it has to go to spawn uh the second one what did we do i was just i was trying to use the whole marvel cinematic universe honestly <laughs> <laughs> was, i was trying to do uh, all those movies but but how do you I'm compare ten years worth of movies to you know? A yeah. show Y'all are doing shows. Season. Y'all are doing shows that have been running for ten years. Doing it to my one movie that came out in ninety six. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> so so where, where's the fairness? I got one movie. A but all of these are the distinctly movie. different movies. <laughs> but they all got one central thing. Mm. Let me let me ask the judges. Yeah. Okay, what, what did we do next? Judge said no. Um, <laughs> what was the second round? What did y'all do for the second round? Uh, was it Lovecraft Country? Was it Oz? Oh, Lovecraft, oh, Lovecraft Country. Country. Oz. Lovecraft Country. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, Lovecraft Country. And so you said, what did you say, Laranta? I think I said Scandal for that one. Scandal. Oh, Scandal won. Scandal definitely won for me. <laughs> no, no, no. I did. I did Scandal when you did Oz, I think. Oz was my last one, and you did that stupid movie with the one scene that was scary. No, no, that's Tales of the Crypt. Tales of the Crypt was my scary movie. Okay, that was my scary movie. Tales of the Crypt was my scary movie. Okay, and uh, he chose. Well, I told I chose Scandal. Then, yeah. Okay, well, Scandal won that one because Scandal it lasted a while, and Mm -hmm. um. And yeah, Sandal was a phenomenon. When it that was, was at a time when, 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 like, women were changing, and you know, just style and fashion changes every three to four years. Mm-hmm. And you know, women are starting to dress up more. And that, hey, she had folks, she had girls in the like they was about to go to a business meeting because mm-hmm. what they was wearing, you know, what I'm saying at the time. Mm-hmm. But um, so after that was the Tales of the Crypt. He chose Dragon Ball Z. I got this. I got that one movie, and that's it. That's that's it for that round. Yeah. And, and okay. Tales from the Crypt definitely won that round. We got to let America decide. Yeah. Because they might choose DBZ on our ass. Why, though? Why? Hey, that's their opinion. It's, that's how it works. It's, it's great. That's why. <laughs> it, it was great, but then he took five or six episodes to charge up an energy ball. So Because nobody, nobody can beat Goku. That's why. Exactly. No, nobody can beat you if I already know how it's going to end. Then why am I watching it? I already know the the, the story. You know what so. they could do a movie of? That nigga, uh, Kami. No, my bad. My mm. bad. Master Roshi. My bad. Master Roshi. My bad. A uh, young Master mm. Roshi. I, uh, him I, and Gohan. Him so and we can Gohan. watch him chase girls. <laughs> no, I, no, no. Him and Gohan. He was probably, you know. I actually would like to see a Krillin movie. <laughs> really? of how, yeah, of how Krillin is a sidekick for all. Uh, why are you laughing? Krillin's always a sidekick, and he he's always there, but he isn't like the main character. And when he does get out there, he loses. Oh, so I think that, like, yeah, I like like yeah, I don't Krillin like to ain't see the main it. character unless he's dying. <laughs> but he, he can fight. He can fight a regular nigga now. A regular nigga. He's detailing him up a regular. Yeah, but there yeah, are no saw, regular. I think I thought that Krillin is the strongest human. <laughs> Nah, he ain't stronger than T. Well, he might, is he stronger than TN? Yeah, Krillin is Man. the strongest because TN ain't been in the ain't been in the game for a minute. Yeah, no, nah, so th- like every 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 threat they face, Krillin been right there. <laughs> cause TN ain't even go to Namek. TN stayed at Krillin. Um, cause he cause Krillin is in Dragon Ball Super and he's like super powerful because he's like he been watching all these 
fight that's way above his power level, so it, it made him like stronger by osmosis or something like that. Nah, so you Krillin, ain't no alien. So Krillin is in the new series. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I guys, like Broly. I like Broly. Broly. In a new series. Yeah. Well, guys, let's 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 take it to you. I gave my opinions on who I thought would win these these uh, episodes of, of TV. So who do you think would win? HBO, uh, Disney, or Cartoon Network without Adventure Time or um, uh, Steven Universe? So let us know. Let us know. And we'll be right back with some... You ain't really questions. got time for questions. It's already um, 8 o'clock. Yeah, it's pretty late. It is. We are. We already. We already. We already had an hour and a half. It's pretty oh, late over man, here. I like the questions the best. It's we can do one. Okay, we can okay. do one. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, so we won't. We won't go nowhere. We won't go nowhere. Uh, Laranta, can you uh-huh. ask us one question from the mailbag? All right. Hold on. Let me go to the <laughs> inbox. Once again, it's your favorite portion of the pod where we ask the questions from our daily listeners, such as yourself. So this question is coming from Jeremiah from South Carolina. <laughs> hey guys. That loud. Who's your right? Hey guys, who's your favorite? Who, who's one of your most favorite obscure superheroes? Um, so I would say my favorite. What do you what do you mean obscure? What do you mean obscure, Jeremiah? I know he ain't on, he can't answer us right now, but are we just talking about not known or like weird? Not well known mm. or weird, or just like not one of the main. Or I'm thinking okay. that he's like not, or that he's saying like not one of the main, like you can't be Batman or Superman or Storm or. Got you, got you. Just not somebody mainstream. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I would say that uh, one of my favorite, like there's a lot, like Vixen, mm-hmm. the Blue Adam, uh, no, the Blue Marvel uh, has to be a really, mm-hmm. really good one. But my favorite, favorite. Of I think Vixen is kind of mainstream. Yeah. Yeah, she did have a little animated short, didn't she? Yeah, she had a show, man. And she got a movie. She got a movie? What, what an animated there's, movie? There's a Vixen. Yes, yeah, an animated Vixen movie, yeah. Oh, I didn't mm. know And then that. she's in, she's in, Vixen is in Justice League a lot. Just League Unlimited? Yeah. Oh, yeah. well. So, uh, hell out. All yeah. the superheroes are in Justice League Unlimited. The Blue Devil is in Justice League Unlimited, so. But I would say that okay. my favorite obscure <laughs> Superhero, hold on. Let me make sure that I have his name right. I don't even think I know his name. Nope. Hold on. Uh, dang. Dang. What's his name? Um, oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Mm-hmm. I think I got a couple myself. All right, well, while Jerry looking for his, you can go ahead. All right, one, um, one of one of my favorite. He was he was an X Man, uh, Bobby Drake. I really liked Ice Man. He was Bobby cool. Drake, man. Ice Man is mainstream as a motherfucker. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, but he's not he like he ain't like. Five. Yeah, right. but he's not like he was in the like, first X Men movies. Like he's in all the X-Men. regular Ice man screen. Whenever, whenever we talk about. The X Men, Ice Man is in the is in the equation. Nah, it's Wolverine yeah. one, Wolverine one, Cyclops two, Storm. If Storm is up there, and Jean Grey. I mean, granted, like if you've been reading the comic books, definitely. All right, what's your other one? What's your other one? What's my other one? Uh, Silver this Surfer. Also not obscure. <laughs> also mainstream. Like, not obscure. Also, you know exactly who these people are. I know. Also not obscure. Also not obscure. <laughs> Wow. Just say you don't know any of your superheroes. Just say you only fuck with mainstream superheroes. I feel like the mainstream, are like the big one, like the Superman, Batman. No, um, no, there you've people seen them people on screen, they are mainstream. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, they only be written. No, not necessarily only be written. I, but like, you, I okay. Mm. I, I mean, they can be on screen, but they can't be like household names, like. Iceman, you know his power set. <laughs> Silver Surfer, you know his power set. You know his story. So, so like they mm-hmm. can't be like household names that you know everything about. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. I'm gonna do my homework. Go find some <laughs> <experience>. superheroes. <laughs> 
Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, uh, Jeremiah. You pushing me. You push me to I would say, because that was horrible. <laughs> we were like, also not. I'm obscure. Okay, I would say that my <laughs> favorite obscure superhero, and there are a lot, like um, the Blue Marvel is definitely one as a black superhero. Mm-hmm. He is, like his story was amazing. Um, but my favorite obscure superhero, and I love when he shows up in the comics, was Wonder Man. Um, when he shows up in his art, mm. him being a villain. Ain't it about to be a Wonder Man show or Wonder Man movie? Yeah, or yeah, starring Yaya, my my husband. So him being mm-hmm. a a villain, to him being a pacifist, to him being um, on the West Coast Avengers, to everything has been amazing. And I just love when he shows up because I actually don't know much about him, and I would love to know more of his story. Um, but like I know he was like an actor and he was using his superpowers while he was acting, but um, I'm really, really, really excited for this, for this um, Wonder Man show that started, that's starting to film in like two weeks or whatever. And I'm really excited for his um, new comic coming up. So Wonder Man. Mm-hmm. 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 Very nice, very nice. Um, I'm going to go with, mine is, Mine, he's becoming mainstream because they just gave him a show not too long ago on Amazon Prime, but uh, Invincible. Invincible. Like, mm. yeah, more people are finding out about him just because yeah. of that show. But man, he he pretty he's still pretty off and off to the side. But and, and I like Invincible less because of Invincible himself, but more because of like that entire Invincible universe. The storyline. Like, when shit happens, when Ooh. shit happens in that universe, it stays that way. Like, if somebody evil takes over the world, they take over the world. And it, it, it don't, like, reset in the next episode or, like, the good guys don't eventually, like, take it back. It's like, no, nah, like, he's king of the world. It's like if Lex Luthor took over Metropolis and stayed there and, like, nobody could figure out a way to out them. Like, in the, in the one storyline where Lex Luthor becomes president, it's like he just becomes mm-hmm. re- president and runs a full term and doesn't go to jail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Vince was Yeah, the Viltrumites ain't nothing to play with. Shit. <laughs> look, look, um, Mark. <laughs> look what they have to do. It would take a fraction of our power. Come on. Yeah. Y'all seen that? Y'all seen that me? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Think, Think, Mark. Think. Think, Mark. <laughs> yeah. And my thing about the show, though, is like he never got his shit together. It was like, luckily, he a Viltrumite and he's learning. But it was like, mm-hmm. okay, he going to say it today. Now he can fuck up. Shit. Yeah. Damn. Yo, boy. But got his arm broken shit. I'm like, hey, you supposed to be the superhero. <laughs> and what's that cat man? That cat man alien nigga. Like he when he when he came and killed everybody on the team. What's what's his race? Oh, I forgot. I his forget name. his name. Yeah, but his race they they strong. Battle cat. I think that's what his name. Yeah, is. I think it's real right. Way. I think it's battle cat. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga. That motherfucker. Yeah. That yeah. man said he don't need no tough ass name. He let them hands speak for him. <laughs> people mostly stay dead in that comic and Robert Kirkman really put his foot while he was writing that and um, I was surprised mm-hmm. it lasted that long towards the end it kind of got um, very wanky but I, mm-hmm. it, was, it was a great 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 comic so yeah and this was a good choice mm-hmm. um, but yes you guys that is the end of this episode of Black Geek Energy why don't you go ahead and leave a comment if you like this episode or like this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, go ahead and follow us on Black Geek Energy on Instagram, Black Geek Energy on TikTok, and BGE underscore pod on Twitter. And don't forget to support our sponsors. Go ahead and get that 10% off at betterhelp.com by going to BetterHelp dot com slash bge pod that's betterhelp.com bge pod and really take care of your mental health and take care of each other um mm-hmm. but yeah i think that ends today's episode uh if you have any questions go ahead and email us at blackgeekenergy at gmail.com and yeah that's it we love you and we'll see you next time bge out Bye. Stay black, stay geeky, stay energized.
All right, I want to take a minute to just check in on our geeks that's listening around the world. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling out there? How's your heart doing? How's your mind doing? A while ago, y'all asked us how, how we felt about mental health. And my answer is that your mental health is just as important as your physical health, as your spiritual health, financial health. And it's often a bridge to get to those other three. So our sponsor, BetterHelp, is here to help y'all out with that. And I know I know what y'all going to say. Y'all don't have time for therapy. Y'all don't believe in therapy. And can't nobody really tell you how to feel. But that's not really what BetterHelp is all about. BetterHelp has licensed professionals that work on your schedule. You can call, you can text, you can video chat whenever you have time to interact with them. They, you know, they got your back and they can help you get some of those blocks out your mind. I'm in therapy myself and I'm I can tell you that it's helpful just to have someone to vent to. Um, and it definitely helps me feel like more reassured just in my daily life and my own decisions. If you haven't tried it, I say give it a shot today. BetterHelp is a great place to start and you can sign up today at BetterHelp.com slash BGE pod. That's Beta Gamma Epsilon Pod, um, and they'll give you 10% off. Tell them the geek sent you.